Well, you can call them environmental game changers. A nonprofit is providing sustainable classroom materials to inspire creativity for both students mm -hmm. and the teachers. 900 tons of trash have been diverted from landfills in the process. KCAL's Rena Nakano introduces us to the Two Bit Circus Foundation. And three, two, one. These students at Green Design Steam Academy are filming on their new news set. But what you see isn't technically brand new. All of this stuff was built by previously used materials, whether it's particle board, the wheels, everything. The concept is something the school takes to heart. Our motto is green's not just a color, it's a way of life. The project was a collaboration with local nonprofit Two Bit Circus Foundation. Our founder was dumpster diving at different manufacturing places to see what kinds of material existed. The organization helps students of all income levels in STEAM education, which stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. They do it with a sustainability mindset. Sort of like the Robin Hoods of rubbish. Most of their teaching materials used to be trash. They say it's a win-win. For the manufacturing community, rather than pay extra money to send it to landfill, they can call us, send it to us, they get a tax receipt for what they've donated. The trash goes to a neatly organized warehouse at LA City College, where it waits to meet their next life pieces that are from the plumbing world. We do get a lot from the fashion industry. You and I probably don't have any idea what to do with these thingies, but to a child, these have endless possibilities. A very artistic young person did Einstein out of tiny little pellets. Pellets ground down from large non-biodegradable plastics rebirthed as art. Top of this is all the C's candy boxes. A Halloween themed lamp hooked up to an LED source. All kinds of interesting things in the hands of young inventors. Two Bit Circus also gifts maker spaces to schools, hosts steam camps and coding events. Their goal, to foster imagination. What we need in the future are not follow the instructions kids because the robots are gonna do those jobs. We need critical thinkers and creative thinkers and and individuals who can problem solve. Mr. Teeth hosted a match. Back at Green Design Steam Academy, the news set is being used along with upcycled costumes, something they hope will last many years until they decide to turn it into something else. It's also kind of motivating to do things like this outside, just in my own life, you know, and I think that that's something that, uh, that rubs off on the students as well. In East Hollywood, I'm Marina Nakano, KCAL News.